What is going on everybody and welcome back to Red Sea Radio. My name is Corbin and before we get into anything I want to thank all of you for 700 total subscribers. We officially hit 700 this week. I knew we could get there so thank you all very much. We are officially pushing towards 1,000 subscribers now. This community has grown so fast so quickly and I really think we can get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of next month. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell the guy checking your ticket on opening day to subscribe to Red Sea Radio. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about a statement that Alex Cora made earlier in the week that is really concerning to me. I want to preface this video by saying that I have full faith in Alex Cora. I trust him as a manager, I trust his decisions on and off the field, and I think he will do what's best for the Red Sox in general. But this statement just made me a little uneasy, and we're going to get into why and maybe some other possible solutions that could be done instead of the way this is going. But before I get into that, like I just said, we are making the push to 1,000. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We talk Red Sox content almost daily. Also, make sure that you guys are hitting that like button as well to help out the videos a ton. Thank you all very much for clicking on this video. Thank you all for 700 subscribers. Let's get into it. The statement I want to talk about is the statement that Alex Cora made earlier in this week where he said that he was planning on playing J.D. Martinez more often in the outfield than he did in past couple of years. Now, whether this means as a platoon for Jackie Bradley Jr., or whether this is just a way to give some of the infield guys days off where they play DH and don't have to play the field, he didn't really specify, so it could be either one. I think most people are kind of assuming that it's as a platoon for Jackie Bradley Jr., but either way, there are some very serious concerns I have with that statement. Now, the concerns I have with that statement statement are not with JD Martinez as a fielder specifically he's not the greatest fielder in the world he's certainly not a Kevin Kiermeyer type player but he's not terrible in the outfield he had some decent plays last year and he's pretty quick to fly balls which is relatively impressive for guy, for a guy who's 35 years old but he is a little bit flat-footed and he is 35 years old so it's not like he's going to be an all-star defender out there in the first place so you're losing that defensive gain you have when you have Jackie Bradley out there. But my concern is with his hitting splits when he's on the field. Just take a look at what these hitting splits look like when he's on the field versus when he's at DH. Specifically when he's in right field, which is where Jackie is planning on playing most of the year. He is batting a mere 182. Now it's a smaller sample size than the other two positions, but still, even left field, he is much lower than that 306 average that he has as a DH. That is very concerning. Now, I again, like I said, I trust Alex Cora, and if he thinks it will benefit the team to have JD Martinez out in the outfield, I can't disagree with the man. He won us a championship. He brought us the ALCS last year. I'm not going to go against him and say he's a terrible decision maker, but this is just concerning to me. I don't know what happens to JD Martinez out there when he's on the field, whether it has something to do with the fact that he's not as focused on hitting as he normally is, or if it's because of the fact that he's such a habitual person that when you mess up his pregame stuff, when you mess up his routine in the morning and in the game that it messes up his whole approach to at bats or his whole swing or whatever but whatever it is jd martinez in the five spot of our lineup not hitting the way that he should be hitting is a big sore spot for the red sox not to mention like i said he's 35 years old injuries are a concern at this point He's already injured himself once in in left field and granted it was kind of a freak injury that I'd be shocked if it happened to anyone else in the history of baseball, but still that can happen again and we already lost Chris Sale who was a key piece to this rotation. To lose a key piece in our lineup would put us back in this division heavily. It's already one of, if not the most contested divisions in baseball, and we made legitimate strides this offseason to put ourselves in contention of winning that division. To lose our two key players, the guys who are making a lot of money for the Red Sox, would be terrible. So I'm not entirely sure what this means for the Red Sox going forward. If Alex Cora is legitimate, if he's not, if this is sort of a, this is just a situation we have and we have to work with it kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure what the thinking behind this is, but I do have a couple of solutions that we're gonna talk about today and see if they are better fits for the Red Sox outfield than JD Martinez Manning left or right field. 
the first solution and in my opinion the obvious solution is to go out and trade for a right-handed right fielder there have been a couple of names thrown around will myers of the san diego padres was said to be on the chopping block for them and brian reynolds for the pittsburgh pirates was said to be thrown around but those are guys who in my opinion are going to cost a lot to get is the front office willing to give up a lot of prospects just to have JD Martinez off the field. I don't exactly know. I don't know if Heim Bloom's ready to part with a lot of his prospects yet. And bringing in a bringing in a guy like Will Myers, who's more realistic than Brian Reynolds, is probably not going to improve offensive production heavily enough. Where giving up those prospects is worth it. The other solution to this problem is to call up one of the guys in the minor leagues who's been doing really well in spring training now there are a couple options unfortunately fitzgerald is a lefty so it doesn't make a ton of sense to replace jackie bradley with a lefty you could have duran who i assume is going to break camp with the team he's again is not great against lefties in fact last game he played against the lefty he went 0 for 3 with three strikeouts so that's not looking like an exact option a couple of guys that do come to mind though are Rob Ref Snyder, who hasn't exactly performed super well in spring training, but in general does pretty well against lefties. And if you genuinely want a platoon for Jackie Bradley Jr., without having to give up a ton of prospects and stuff like that and you just kind of want a guy who can fill in in right or left field on away games um, and go one for three or one for four whatever as long as it's not oh for five like jackie will probably go against lefties ref snyder kind of makes sense he's not a terrible fielder in general he's pretty good against lefties so I could see that kind of happening, him breaking camp with the Red Sox to be a platoon strictly for Jackie Bradley, but that doesn't exactly help the idea of having to get guys off their feet and only playing DH for a couple of games. In my opinion, that would just end up being JD Martinez having an off day. The other guy that this is kind of an outlandish theory that I came up with that I think is not out of the realm of possibilities is Christian Koss. Koss is doing a incredible job in spring training this year of getting on base and having clutch hits and stuff like that. He's a righty. He's a super utility player. He's pretty quick. Could this be the platoon guy that the Red Sox are looking for for Jackie Bradley? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like Alex Cora is full set on the idea of having JD out there. So maybe one of these two guys comes out and presses enough where Alex Cora says maybe this can be the guy who and most likely Jackie Bradley will be in the lineup regardless of who's pitching in the outfield during home games just because of how difficult right field is at Fenway Park Jaron Duran maybe at some point takes over for him but even then you're probably gonna need a platoon my opinion you call up ref Snyder or Koss and see which one of them does better in the outfield on away games where Jackie Bradley's defense isn't going to be sorely missed let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these ideas, what you think of JD Martinez in the outfield in general. Let me know all your thoughts on this situation down below. As always, if you've made it to the end of this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you've not already. Again, we are making a push to 1,000. Let's see if we can get there by the end of April. And also make sure you guys are hitting the like button as well if you've made it this far. You clearly enjoy the content. It helps out the video a ton and would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this video. Thanks again for 700 subscribers, and I will see you in the next one.